Hey everybody, welcome to part uh, three of this Blu-ray collection update. As I said in this particular part, we were just going through this little end cap shelf here. Uh, this finishes up all the F's, goes through all the G's and all the H's, and starts on the very beginning of I. So, without further ado... <laughs> we have Fear. This is a uh, really fun movie. like that one a lot. Nicole Forever, for sure. Fear of Rain, really good uh, psychological thriller that came out this year. Then we have Fifty Shades Darker, which is the second film. Fifty Shades Freed, which is the third film. And then going a bit out of order here, but this is Fifty Shades of, of Grey, which is the first film. Uh, very cheesy, but very fun. And then we have the parody film. Fifty Shades of Black. This is one of the worst movies ever made, so don't ever watch that. Fight Club. That's a classic. Fighting with My Family. This is a really, really good movie. Although, as I stated uh, in my previous part when I talked about Fantasy Island, this comes with a director's cut of the movie, and I watched the director's cut because I had seen the movie in theaters, and I could not tell the difference. They are the exact same cuts. <laughs> Uh, final Kill, this was pretty decent. Oh, here we go. One of my go-to recommendations. Final Score, this is an action movie that came out back in 2018 with Dave Bautista. This movie is fantastic. If you have not seen this, you are really missing out. This is a really fun movie. Then we have a, another steelbook here with Finding Dory. Really, really great movie. I do need Finding Nemo on Blu-ray, although I've seen it like 28,000 times. Um, and it is a great movie. Fire with Fire. It's a decent little uh, movie. First Cow. That was also pretty decent. First Kill. Uh, it's all right for a, a like a Bruce Willis generic movie nowadays that he does. First Sunday, this is all right for a one-time watch. I like that one. Fist, which is one of Sylvester Stallone's like earliest movies. Um, I haven't watched that yet. Fist Fight, that's a fun one. Five Feet Apart, really good movie. Kind of sad, too, but a bit cheesy. You know, you got the trifecta there. Sad, good, cheesy. <laughs> Here we go. Flashdance. This is one of my all-time favorite movies. Absolutely love it. Jumping a bit ahead here, but the song uh, Maniac by Joe Cimbello, that is very famously, you know, a part of this movie, was actually written for this film, but the, it was never used and the lyrics were changed up a bit. So there's your fun little <laughs> fact of the day. The original Flatliners. Uh, it's decent. Not really something I got behind, and the remake is flat-out terrible. Flight, really, really good movie. Great movie. Flight of the Phoenix, that's a decent movie. I've never seen the original. Focus, great movie. Uh, Foo Fighters, back and forth. Uh, I can't remember where I got this from. I think Half Price Books. But uh, I love the Foo Fighters. For a Good Time Call. Haven't watched that yet. Force of Execution. Decent uh, little Steven Seagal movie. Um, you know, <laughs> when you're going into a Seagal direct-to-video action movie, you pretty much know what to expect. Force of Nature. That was also pretty decent. Although I see... This is something that only happens to me. Since I watch a lot of these Grindstone titles, I've seen the trailer for this a thousand times. This and uh, Survive the Night, which we'll get to in another part, uh, I've seen the trailer for it like too many times. And these were well after the movies came out. I'm like, really? <laughs> Ford versus Ferrari, really good movie. Forgetting Sarah Marshall, also another really good movie. 
And then we have a classic here, Forrest Gump. Four Brothers, if I could recommend any movie to any of you guys, it is this one because this is single-handedly my all-time favorite movie. I absolutely love this movie. Highly, highly recommend it. And yes, I wanted to point this out. Where is it? Right here, if you notice. As Edge of Tomorrow, same font, same color scheme. Really weird that they did that. <laughs> oh, let's see. Foxcatcher, really, really good movie. I'll just take all these out. Frank, haven't seen that yet. Frank and Lola, also have not watched that yet. Freaky, great movie, really, really funny. Freddy vs. Jason, great movie. This is the American release, which has all the special features. And then I have uh, a the Canadian Alliance release, which is the one that I got first, which is completely bare bones, but has some pretty amazing disc artwork. So that's the primary reason why I kept that. <laughs> Freelancers, haven't watched that yet. Frenzy, another title I haven't watched yet. Triple feature set of Friday, Menace to Society, and Set It Off. Friday's great. Uh, next Friday is horrible, and Friday After Next is just all right. Menace to Society is phenomenal, and Set It Off is also really great. We have the Friday the 13th 8 movie collection. This obviously coming with parts 1 through 8. Uh, they're all pretty decent and cheesy fun. And then we have the remake, which is alright. Um, I do have the other two movies, not on Blu-ray though. Um, I thought Jason Goes to Hell was okay and Jason X is terrible. Friendsgiving, that was alright. The remake of Fright Night fantastic movie highly recommend it i have the original but shocking confession i haven't seen it yet i plan to watch it for the first time this year but the remake wow really really good and then they did a sequel to the remake which i've never seen fright night 2 new blood from paris with love it's a pretty decent movie adam green's frozen a uh, really good thriller and then of course Disney's Frozen, followed by Frozen 2. Uh, you know, great movies. Um, I do think there are some other Disney movies that are better than uh, those, but they're still really good. I know Austin's watching. He saw this 30 times in theaters. That's not an exaggeration. <laughs> That's dedication. He actually got recognized by a, a lot of the actors in that movie. I believe it was... Um, Josh Gad and Sterling K. Brown, I know, reacted to it. I thought that was pretty fantastic. Fruitvale Station, great, great movie. Full Metal Jacket, classic. Funny People, really, really good. Furious 7, by far and away the best of the series, and um, just a phenomenal summer blockbuster movie. And then I have this version. I, I'm not under... I'm not really quite sure what exactly makes it the limited collector's edition other than just uh different artwork which unfortunately is marred by stickers but thankfully the keep case has the same artwork um so i'm not sure but still for cheap i picked it up because of the artwork fury great movie game night this was really fun Gamer, I've not watched that yet. Gangs of New York, great movie. Gangster Squad, it's a good one. Gemini Man, I like that one a lot. Um, a lot of Will Smith's movies are, are pretty fun. Gentlemen Prefer Blondes, haven't watched that yet. Now for all the Get movies, we have Get Hard. Get Him to the Greek, which is the semi-sequel to uh, Forgetting Sarah Marshall. Get Out. 
get shorty, get smart, and I have two versions of this just because of artwork variations, get the gringo. So those are all the get movies. <laughs> Gettysburg, uh, the director's cut, really good movie. You have to have patience for it, though. It is four and a half hours long, but it is good. Ghost, good movie. And then two movies I'm surprised to say I haven't seen yet. Ghost Rider and its follow-up, Ghost Rider Spirit of Vengeance. We have the 2016 Ghostbusters, which definitely not as good as the originals, but I thought it was fine. Giant, phenomenal movie. Come on, get back in there. Girls Against Boys. Haven't watched that yet. Girls Trip. It's a fun one. Gladiator. This is a classic that I have yet to see. <laughs> Glass. That's a good movie. Go. That's a great movie. God Bless Ozzy Osbourne. Haven't seen that yet. Gods and Generals, this is the prequel to Gettysburg, which is actually almost five hours long uh, because this is the director's cut. Um, this is not that great, but I haven't seen it in a long time, so who knows. Godzilla, the newer one, really, really good. Godzilla 2000, this I picked up at a Dollar Tree, if you could believe it or not. Um, this comes with the Japanese cut and the U.S. cut. Haven't watched that yet. And Godzilla, King of the Monsters, which was pretty decent. Going in Style, the remake, it's pretty decent. Uh, Gone Baby Gone, I surprisingly have not seen that yet. Gone Fishing, it's decent. Gone Girl, great movie. Gone with the Wind, classic. This actually comes with... Um, what is it? Yes, the MGM documentary, When the Lion Roars, uh, which is also on the Wizard of Oz Blu-ray, so that's pretty cool. Good Boys, good movie. Then we have the standard edition of Goodfellas, which is a classic. And then I found this edition, which comes with a bonus documentary called Public Enemies, The Golden Age of the Gangster Film. Um, but it is very true what people say. You're either a Goodfellas person or you're a casino person. There are two types of people in the world. People who like Goodfellas more and people who like Casino more. I personally enjoy Casino a little bit better, but I will admit it has been years since I've seen Goodfellas, so re a rewatch is due. Good Luck Chuck, surprisingly pretty good. Goodwill Hunting, that's a classic. Goosebumps, fantastic movie. And Goosebumps 2 Haunted Halloween, the really solid sequel. Gotham, the complete first season. I uh, haven't watched any of the show yet. And then I have the complete series set. This comes with all five seasons. I picked this up because it was marked at $100, and then somebody posted uh, saying that they picked the set up, and they said, if you haven't picked this set up, go pick it up at Best Buy. They have it marked at $24.99. And I got to my local Best Buy. They had two copies left. Picked one up. Five bucks a season. You kidding me? That's fantastic. Um, I have heard many people, uh, including a lot of my friends, say Gotham is a show I am continuously disappointed in, so we'll see if that's any good or not. Grand Hotel, haven't watched that yet. Grand Piano, this movie's awesome. Really, really awesome. Highly recommend that. Grand Torino, I know it's a semi-classic, but I haven't watched that one yet. Gravity, really good movie. Grease, three-movie collection. This comes with Grease, Grease 2, and Grease Live. Now, these two I have not seen, although there is, thanks to Rover's Morning Glory, the radio show I listen to, there's a, a, a scene where an extra has his... Um, uh, well, he accidentally exposes himself in the first, like, I think it's 13 minutes in. Watch the people that are jumping the, um, like, the high-rises and stuff. Um... It's really weird that somebody noticed that. Uh, and the original Grease I've seen parts of, but I've never watched all the way through. Green Book, great movie, but shouldn't have won Best Picture. Greenland, good movie, really good movie. 
Green Lantern. Heard great things. Nothing but fantastic things about that movie, but I have not seen it yet. <laughs> Green Room. This is another fantastic movie. Oh my God, this movie's great. It's a shame Anton Yelchin uh, passed away. And he died in a really freaky way. Um, but God, he was such a great actor and he proves it in here. That's a fun, well, not really fun, but that's a phenomenal movie. Green Zone, pretty good. Gridiron Gang, I've not seen that yet. Grindhouse, fantastic movie. It's a double bill movie of Planet Terror and Death Proof. I do have to get the individual releases of those because the individual releases are the extended cuts. These are just the theatrical cuts. Grown Ups and Grown Ups 2. They're not phenomenal, but they're fun. Grudge Match, I remember this being just okay. Guardians of the Galaxy and Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. Both are fantastic. Guest House, I thought this was going to be terrible. This was actually really entertaining. Um, I recommend that one, at least for a one-time watch. Gulliver's Travels, it's all right. Gun, haven't seen that yet. This I recently talked about, uh, Guns Akimbo, great movie, but as you can see, they edited out the guns in his hand. Uh, his hands, perfectly okay on the back cover, but on the front, oh no. <laughs> guns, Girls, and Gambling, haven't seen that yet. Hacksaw Ridge, great movie. Hail Caesar, really, really funny. Loved that one. Hairspray, the remake, really, really good. Half Brothers, also really good. The original classic, uh, Halloween. The new Halloween, which is supposed to be a sequel to the original. What do you do with a sequel? You call it the same thing. They're doing the same thing with Scream. Oh my God. This really annoys me. You have no idea how much it does. I really just don't like it. Have you seen Halloween? Which And then it makes you make it even worse because you have Rob Zombie's Halloween. But it's not called Rob Zombie's Halloween. It's just called Halloween. So now you have three movies called Halloween out there. So which one are you talking about? The original? The original? The, the sequel to the original? What are you talking about? The remake? I, I don't know. I'm confused. Please don't do that. <laughs> don't give me an aneurysm. Uh, but this uh, also comes with a four and a half hour long documentary called Michael Lives, The Making of Halloween. Um, I do enjoy the remake, and I also did enjoy uh, the newer Halloween. The trailer for the new one looks awesome. And then Rob Zombie's Halloween 2. This I didn't care for that much. Hall Pass, that's all right. Hancock, surprisingly haven't seen that yet. Hannah, also haven't seen that yet. Hannah Montana. And Miley Cyrus, Best of Both Worlds concert. Haven't watched that yet. Hannah Montana, the movie. Also haven't watched that yet. I picked these up because I started binging the show uh, last year on Disney, but I never got past. I never, I just, I kind of, not that, not, not that I got tired of it, but I just fell off it. So, Hansel and Gretel, this is the Asylum's version of it. Hansel and Gretel get baked. Haven't seen either of those yet. Happy Birthday to Me, I have not seen that. And then Happy Death Day and Happy Death Day to You, both are fantastic movies. Hard Kill, decent, generic Bruce Willis movie. Hard Target, classic Van Damme movie, one of his best. And then Hard Target 2, which I've never seen, um, which is surprising considering how big of a Scott Adkins fan I am. But I haven't seen it. Hard to Kill. Love that movie. The Harry Potter 8 film collection comes with all eight of them. And while I do think the series is a bit overhyped, I gotta admit these movies are awesome. They're really, really good. Hearts War. That's alright. Heat. This is one of my all-time favorite movies. Highly recommend this movie. Oh, it's great. Another movie I watched for the first time this year... Heathers, look at this glorious steel book. Really dark, really weird movie, but really good. Um, a movie you would not get away with with, with making today, uh, but really good. Heatstroke, haven't seen that yet, but I love Stephen Dorff. Heist, really good. Another good movie with Dave Bautista in it. Yeah, this is a good one too. Also got De Niro and Jeffrey Dean Morgan. 
Uh, Kate Bosworth is in it, and Gina Carano, but Gina Carano isn't really all that good of an actress, so... <laughs> Yeah, you know, it's got those other people in it. <laughs> the original Hellboy, haven't watched that yet. And then the newer Hellboy, which I have seen, and it's fine. Hellbreeder, haven't watched that yet. This kid is ready to play. Oh, no. Oh, God. What? <laughs> Forgot that was on the back. Hellraiser and Hellbound Hellraiser 2. And then the one that Dimension Extreme did. Hellraiser Revelations. I haven't seen any of the Hellraiser movies, which I know is shocking. I do have the rest of them. They're all out on DVD. Help, I Shrunk My Parents, which I'm assuming is a sequel to this movie. Help, I Shrunk My Teacher. I haven't watched either of those yet. Her, great movie. Here Comes the Boom. That's a fun one. He's Just Not That Into You. Haven't seen that yet. High School Musical, which is decent. High School Musical 2, superior. Like that one a lot. And then one that I, I really haven't watched, and that's High School Musical 3, senior year. High Voltage, haven't seen that yet either. Hired Gun, haven't watched that yet either. Hit and Run, great, great movie. Hitchcock, haven't watched that yet. Then we have Hitman, which I thought was fine. And then Hitman Agent 47, which I also thought was fine. Uh, they were saying that Paul Walker was up for the role of uh, Agent 47 before he passed away. Um, I could sort of see that. Can't see him with a bald head, though. But Hobo with a Shotgun, also haven't seen that yet. Hocus Pocus, this was a movie that I watched for the first time last year, and it's fine. I think it's extremely overhyped. <laughs> Hold Your Breath, haven't seen that yet. It's an Asylum title, so who knows. Hollow, also haven't seen that yet. Now for the home movies. We have Home, which is good. Like that one. Double feature set of Home Alone and Home Alone 2, Lost in New York. Those are two classics. Home Front, really good movie. Home of the Brave which I haven't watched yet. And Home Run Showdown, which I haven't watched. It's pretty cheesy looking, but uh, any movie that has Matthew Lillard in it, uh, I'm automatically getting. That, that man is a national treasure. And then, oh my God, this shelf just has a bunch of movies that I want to recommend, but this movie right here, Honeymoon, phenomenal. Absolutely loved this one. Oh God, that was... This is great. This is a really great movie. Hondo, a John Wayne film I have not watched yet. Honest Thief, really good Liam Neeson movie. His, uh, his new movie on Netflix, The Ice Road, I thought was really good. Hop, it's decent. Hope Springs, haven't seen that yet. Horizon Line, mm, that was all right. Horrible Bosses, great movie. Horrible Bosses 2, the really solid sequel. Horror Noir, A History of Black Horror. If Shudder could keep doing documentaries, whether it's uh, in television series format or documentary film format as this one is in, I would be all the more happy for it. This is a great documentary. They do fantastic work. Speaking of Shudder, Host. That was pretty decent. Uh, if you guys want to watch this, uh, it's only an hour long, so <laughs> feel free to. Hostage, great Bruce Willis movie. Hostel and Hostel Part 2, both are really good. Stay away from Hostel Part 3, it's pretty bad. Hotel Artemis, really, really great movie. Now for all the hot movies. <laughs> we have Hot Pursuit, which is alright. Hot Rod extremely underrated. I love this movie. This has one of the absolute best soundtracks to a movie ever. Love it. Um, find it on Blu-ray. Definitely grab it because it is out of print on Blu-ray. Hot Tub Time Machine. Really good movie. And then the definition of a Who Cares sequel, Hot Tub Time Machine 2. That was just all right. Hours. God, 
I know a lot of you out there are making lists of all these movies that I keep saying I recommend to you, but this is another one I recommend. This is Ours with uh, Paul Walker. This was one of his last movies before he passed. Really sad movie, but really good. House of a Thousand Corpses, classic. How to Be Single, it's pretty decent. How to Marry a Millionaire, haven't watched that yet. How to Train Your Dragon, which is pretty good. How to Train Your Dragon 2, which is the best of all three of them, if you ask me. And then the new one, How to Train Your Dragon, The Hidden World. Hustlers, great movie. I Am Bruce Lee, a documentary I have not watched yet, but I do love my martial arts. I Am Legend, really, really good movie. I Am Number Four, I haven't watched that yet. I Am Omega, this has Mark DeCoscos, and this is the Asylum's ripoff of I Am Legend. Haven't watched that yet. I Am Vengeance, which is pretty cheesy, but it's decent. And then the sequel, I Am Vengeance Retaliation, which is also pretty decent. Um, I hear they might be doing another one. I'm for it. I Am Wrath, which I actually think is okay. And we will finish up part three here with Identity Thief, which is pretty decent. And that is it for part three. So as I stand up, stay tuned for part four. We will go on to the next shelf. We are going to cover the next four rows. We are going to finish up all the I's, get through all the J's, all the K's, all the L's, and start on the very beginning of M. Thank you for watching, guys, and stay tuned.